Hi! An equaliser is probably the first and most used tool in audio production. But which one to choose if there are eight of them? You can use any of them for a tonal control, and yet they are all quite different. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about these differences, so you can easily decide which equaliser suits your needs the best. For the demonstration purpose, I'm going to use a different style for each plugin. You are free to use any style and colours you want. We all like free stuff, so why not start with M Equalizer? This is a six band parametric equalizer. However, despite being a free plugin, it possesses features that are not found in most equalizers sold for money, if any at all. A fully featured frequency analyzer and sonogram for starters. It also lets you add up to 16 harmonics for each band. So the equalizer is capable of creating very bizarre frequency responses, which is great for a sound design. Add to that an oversampling, soft saturation, safety limiter, after gain control, mid-side surround processing, multi-parameters, and you have a very capable equalizer. In fact, it can easily cover 80% of jobs in a typical mix scenario. Now, let's check a very different one. M Turbo Equalizer is designed for those who are keen on vintage equalizers. It represents a simulation of 11 classic analog equalizers. Simply select a preset on the left and set controllers to your liking. Out of all the equalizers, this one is the easiest to use because it has nothing that can possibly distract you. No analyzers, modulators, multi-parameters, etc. Just controllers and your senses. It gets you very fast results. On the other end of the spectrum is M Auto Dynamics Equalizer, a flagship equalizer and potentially the most capable equalizer on the market. Compared to M Equalizer, it features new, more usable, non resonant filters, and each band has a dynamic processor. That means it can react to input level. We use this type of equalizer, for example, when we're dealing with resonances that appear from time to time. In other words, not constant, but it can do a lot of other tricks. For instance, it's a great sounding de -esser. It can help you fix collisions between multiple instruments and much more. It also features a so-called automatic equalization, commonly called EQ matching. That is, it analyzes frequency responses of two signals first, and then it builds such an equalizer curve that makes one signal sound as close as possible to the other one. Very popular technique. For details, please watch the spectrum matching and separation tutorial. The plugin provides seven bands and 15 different filters. There are handy low pass and high pass filters with slope up to a staggering 120 decibels per octave. It's also the only equalizer that has modulators. Presence of the modulators makes it Goliath among equalizers. Please watch the modulator series to open up all sorts of possibilities that they can give. Of course, as a top range equalizer, it holds all the features of previously mentioned designs. So if you want a modern equalizer with fast workflow, great sound, and pretty much every feature you could imagine, this is the one. M Dynamic Equalizer is a little brother of M Auto Dynamic Equalizer. It's cheaper, but it only has five bands, no modulators, no easy screen, and no automatic equalization. Next in the queue is M Equalizer LP. Besides the normal mode, this guy can be linear phase. That is, the plugin leaves the signal phase untouched. Some engineers believe it's a good thing, as a trade-off, the plugin introduces a delay, so-called latency, which is not a big deal, as it will be compensated by your host program. But it makes it unusable for real-time processing. It also smears sharp transients, 
And this can be an issue if you work with percussive sounds, sounds like pre-echo. So if you've come across it, the normal mode may be a better choice. Compared to its free relative M equalizer, this fellow has two more bands, eight in total, and steeper cut filters. M Auto Equalizer is the last parametric equalizer here. Though a bit old, it stays unmatched in many ways. It's historically the first equalizer on the market featuring the parametric automatic equalization. It's not dynamic, but has all the goodies of M Equalizer and features 10 bands. And there is a linear phase version too, named M Auto Equalizer LP. So if you're sure you won't need a dynamic equalizer, M Auto Equalizer may be the best choice for you. Going back to matching equalizers, you may want to have to look at M Freeform Equalizer. Unlike its auto brothers, this one uses FFT engine. Forget smooth filter curves you saw above, this guy is capable of identifying every single peak or hole in a frequency response. Thus, as a matching equalizer, it can match two signal spectrum almost ideally. To avoid pre-echo, peculiar to linear phase equalizers, use the min phase mode. But that's not all. How about this? You can literally draw the frequency response you want. How cool is that? There's a little catch though. Not everything you draw may sound good. Usually the crazier stuff you draw, the crazier it may sound. And drawing may not always be an optimal way to equalize if the time is short and you need to work quickly. If you don't feel like a good painter, but you still need the freedom of a brush, consider M Freeform Analog Equalizer. This plugin will smooth out your drawing and will make it look as if you'd used an analog equalizer with up to 32 bands to make it. Not bad. It's like applying an anti-aging cream to a skin. My mum does it twice per day and her skin looks pretty much like an analog equalizer's response. The last plugin I think I should mention is M Freeform Phase. It's not exactly an equalizer, in fact it doesn't modify the frequency response at all. Instead it affects only the phase of each frequency. It's like M Freeform Equalizer's antipod. But hey, it won't hurt to try it out. It's free after all. The plugin can be useful at mixing multiple signals when you start hearing the classic phase cancellation. That is, when two tracks are played one by one, everything sounds good. But when both of them are played together, something disappears. That's a phase cancellation, and this freebie can help you fix that. So here they all are. You can get the result you want with any of them if you know what you're doing. It's just a matter of learning these beautiful tools and, well, money. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.